Hi guys, this is KidLink77, and welcome back. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we were able to meet up with Zelda, and she was able to help Minna out. She was able to help her live. But she sacrificed herself, and we don't know where she is, what happened to her. So, Minna has asked us to, um, well, to help her out with something. Um, she, um, asked Zelda about some Twilight Mirror, and, um, well, uh, you know, Zelda told us, hey, go to find the Master Sword, and, uh, yeah, stuff will happen. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is the, uh, I believe it's the Sacred Grove. Listen to this. This tune may sound familiar to those who have played other installments of this game. Other installments came before this one chronologically, I guess, according to Hyrule Historia or something. But anyway, this is a very very well-known song, so let's go ahead and play. There, I got it first right. Sweet! Awesome. If you don't know, this is called Zelda's Lullaby. Very, very popular. At some point in the, uh, in the far future, most likely, I'll maybe eventually get around to playing Ocarina of Time for you guys, but, um... I don't know which game I like better. This one, I think I'm more, I'm more from comfortable with this game over Ocarina of Time, I guess, but... Hey, hello! Howling that brought out this guy, and he, again, may seem familiar to those if you played other installments of this game. He's not a very fun person to be around, although he likes to play games with you. This is the Skull Kid. Yeah. Like I said, other iterations, he's still around. He will release these guys. We fought them earlier, but one jump strike will pretty much take him out. These are Earth Golems, by the way, so... Uh, so, yeah, be wary of them. Let's uh, go through the door that um, the Skull Kid opened up over here, and let's see if we can chase him down. Yeah, these guys are forever spawning. You uh, you can't kill them all. So, uh, let's uh, make our way over this way. If you look around, you'll see, like, doorways are kind of blocked off. If you come in here... You can hear him playing his horn a little louder. So when you come in like to like an area and you hear the horn just blaring, you know that he's in here somewhere. So uh, he is actually right up over here. Can we get up there? Thank you. Let's take him out. There we go. Nice. We're gonna stop now. We want to get through this area. If you don't mind, the good sir. Eh? I guess not. All right. Fine. Whatever. Let's uh, make our way back off. Um, back through here. Uh, because there's nowhere else we can really go. And these guys will chase you down. They are fast, and they will hurt you. So, yeah, just, I'd take, like, it's a second to dispatch them, because it's better that way. So let's make our way, I believe, we want to go through here. Yeah, we need to go through here next. And uh, try not to get super, like, disoriented. Um, we need to go through here. Because the golems, they can't confuse you. And the place looks very similar. I can hear the horn. Yeah, there it is. All right. So, um, let's uh, go ahead and get these losers out there. Let's go on and through under here. We can't really get up to the place where we need to unless we make our way up this way because this will lead over here, and you can't even see the Skull Kid like if you're hanging out down in the bottom. So, yeah, just take my word for it and go on in through there. Like I said, this place can be kind of mazy, so just follow the route that I'm taking. It's the best way, I believe, to go through this little area. Alright, are you guys still here? Uh, no, yes, you are. Never mind. I lied. I forgot. Die. Thank you very much, good sir. Alright, let's uh, make our way back this way again. And uh, hopefully, he will have revealed something even better for us. Let's, uh. Let's go ahead and take the her out. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of these guys, so just get used to them. Now, um, this doorway over here was closed earlier, but when you do, like, when you hit the Skull Kid, you know, twice, it'll open up again, and you can see him up there. So, yeah, how are we gonna get up there, you ask? Well, it's pretty easy, actually, just uh, follow this trail over here, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's take this guy out. Um, I think you could have just, like, gone over to this room again, um, but I figured I'd just show you where he is in comparison. If you didn't know how to get there. But yeah, he's right up here. So let's make a way after we slaughter these losers. So we like go through this area without getting hurt. Nice. Well, lots of no, lots of hearts, I guess, but yeah. Alright, and useless money, that's perfect. 
Alright, let's go over here. Hey, you. Come here. I wanna freaking eat you. There we go. Sweet. So. Yeah, he opens up this area for us next. Alright. And I think the the guy shouldn't be following us. I think they disappear if you hit him, so don't worry too much about that. But anyway, I think we're going through the door that he's opened so kindly for us. Yeah. And a little area over here. Nice and peaceful. Hello, you're down here again. Hi. What's that? What? You mad, bro? You a little mad? I guess so. You looking angry. Alright, this is phase two of our little adventure into the Sacred Grove. Is, um, yeah, he's gonna summon these guys. Now, if you just run up and attack him, he's gonna disappear. So, you need to take out, you know, his minions and kind of stay slightly close to him. Yeah, he disappears if you get super close. Where'd he go? Uh, where did he go? There he is. Alright, now, when he blows his horn, that's when you want to attack him. Because, you know, he summons and then, you know, he's stunned pretty much. So you take out the minions, the earth golems, and then you can attack him as he blows the horn. So, yeah. Alright, let's go! Let's go, guys. Bring it on. I'm gonna use uh, this thing. Or not, never mind. Alright, whatever, you die. Then it's gonna make your death quicker and painless, but it's not. Oh, nope, nope. There he is. Let's see, will you watch out? Are you gonna, you gonna blow your horn? There it is. Alright, cool. I took a little bit of damage, but it was worth it. Now, he, as you notice, he summons one more every turn. So he started with four, and this is six over here. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, charge, if you don't mind. Let's uh, take out a ton of them now. Like that, there we go. And uh, let's see. I'm going to just do that first. There we go. Leave one. Or, oh, he's got more. Never mind. All right, let's just take them all out near him so that we can, you know, focus on him in a second. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Come on. And, yeah! You done? You done, done goof, bro? You done goofed? You done with goofing? <laughs> Bye. I guess so, because completing that will open this door over here for us. Nice. Um, and there's a rock over here. We're gonna get to this in a little bit, actually. Actually, really soon, actually. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, make our way up here. What could this be? I wonder. Hello. Huh. There's a door there and a symbol right here. Ooh. Let's play Zelda's Lullaby again. Uh, this amazing song leads to one of the hardest, the most challenging puzzles in the game. This thing is annoying. Very annoying to do. Thankfully, you only have to do it once. Thank God. <laughs> this fun game. This game, this game, this game. I have the route pretty much mapped to what we need to do. I'll explain a little bit. We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove. Alright. What's going on here? Is you need to, uh, you need to jump to places. And the statues will follow you in the opposite direction that you go. One will go left, the other one will go right. You decide to go up, they will go forward, or they will go down or up. So yeah, you need to direct them to the places. To start, we're gonna go left. One of them will move onto the pedestal, but you need them both on there at the same time. Yeah. Let's let go down. One of them will move. The other one won't. He's stuck there. If the creatures... Um, see, they won't jump off the ledge, which is a good thing. Uh, if the creatures jump on you, though, that resets the puzzle. You can't make it so that they jump on the same platform as you, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So we're going to jump uh, twice to the right. Then we're going to jump up once. And then we're gonna go left once. Then we're gonna go up twice. And then like that. Oh, I hope I didn't mess up. Go down. And we're 
we're gonna go like this. Oh, I think I got this. Did I get this right? Please say I got this right. Oh, I messed up. No! Shoot, I think I did something wrong. Oh, God. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we've got it this time. I was on the right track. I don't know where I messed up, but we need to go down like that. And then like this, of course. Like I said, I had the right timing. I just don't know what I was doing wrong. So, we go that, and then we do up like this. And then we go left like that. And then we go up like that twice. I think I got it right. Did I miss? I think I might have messed up. Um, Alright, I think we need to do that. And then we do... What is it? Uh, left like this. And then down twice, like that, like that. There we go. Now I got it. All right. I guess, I guess I just went down like one or something, like two few times, like at the very end, and then I just that just messed me up. So yeah. Oh well, we got it there. Yay! But anyway, Ugh, I hate that puzzle. I hated that when it first came out too. I was young and stupid back then. I didn't know what to do. I still didn't really know what to do. I had most of it mapped out. But yeah, okay, whatever. All right, anyway. Go now to the sacred place, beast. We yield passage to the sacred grove. Thank you, good sir. Thank you so much. Now, uh, we are ready to go. So, uh, let's have a look in here, shall we? Is this where the Master Sword sleeps? <gasps> oh. This brings back memories. Is this deja vu? No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at the sword here. Get a nice little close up view. It looks so majestic, so pretty, so cool. Can we sniff it? Can we sniff you? So nice. I don't know if it's been pulled before. What's that saying? I wonder what that says down in the Bane of Evil. I don't know if you can read that or if that's like anything like specific but let's check this out yeah you tell him link get him. Oh, we're not dead oh that's that thing that got embedded in our skull what is that thing for awesomeness once again amazing nice always so majestic when he pulls that blade out has he done it before I don't know. the sword accepted you as its master This is the Master Sword, and it is way stronger than our current sword, the Ordon Sword. This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Xant cast on you. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best if we just leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast anytime you wanted. Yeah, since Zant was kind enough to give this to us, we should be thankful and use it all we can. If you need this, just call me. I want to keep a low profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when you're human, but I can change you whenever. You can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp whenever you want by switching into a wolf form. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you, Zant. But, hey, li but listen, Link, I've got a little favor to ask. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential Link to Zant. I guess we can do that. You did save us from our wolf form, and you have kept us safe in the Twilight, so... Yeah, I think we can help you out a little bit more. Why not? 
But yeah, now that we are no longer confined to just being either a wolf or a human, we can turn to, you know, whenever we need to. And this lets us do some pretty fun things. So, um, now she does want us to uh, go and find the Mirror of Twilight, but I'd rather do some side quests. We have a lot to do before we even consider uh, doing uh, the actual plot stuff. But here we have a snail. Yeah, a golden snail. We haven't gotten those in a while. Um, the next, or the snail that you could potentially get is in this area, but you can't really get there until later. So, yeah, don't bother trying to find it, hunt it down. you got to wait till later. But anyway, let's make our way back over here. Um, we have a lot to do. Like I said, oh, man, I kept restricted. Yeah, I tried to restrict my timing in this episode, but I failed with the, uh, the thing. I don't know how much of that I'm going to cut out. But anyway, let's uh, bomb this here. And then while we are bombing that, we're going to transform into a wolf. Let's uh, back up just a little bit, because, watch this. Yeah, well, there's a postal in here. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take this one out next, and, oh, uh, can you, can you, Link, Link? Ah, oh, we gotta wait a little bit. Shoot. Well, yeah, just, like, the targeting was not working out for me. Let's finish him. There we go. How, uh, how convenient that your weak spot's right in your chest, right where we can see it, but, yeah, let's, uh, pulse to number two. Uh, so we need 18 more, so, to maybe free Giovanni. So we're gonna be getting some pulse souls in, uh, in the upcoming episodes. Like I said, plot-wise, not much is going to happen. We're going to do a lot. But anyway, if you dig in down that hole, you can find this little area right here. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and turn back into a human for this part because there are Dukubabas here, and these guys, to say the least, are annoying as hell. Um, but with our new Master Sword, one strike and they're dead. This thing is so strong. We are really powerful right now. So, yeah, monsters and general bad guys are not going to be much of a problem for us. Oh, great. Ow, let me go. All right, I think it's all hard here. I think I said lied. Oh, there's one. Yay. There's uh, two more of these losers in here. Three more. Never mind. Wow, we have a lot more than I anticipated. Oh, wow. We just die. I'm over here clicking everything. Goodness. Okay. And we have a Duke of Baba hanging out up here in the ceiling. Did I knock him? No, I just knocked him out. <laughs> I'm trying to knock him down. If you hit the, uh, if you hit that, yeah, you can knock things over with, uh, with that. Hey, can I get over here quickly? Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Yeah, if you beat all the Duke of Babas, I think I got it. Did I do it? Oh, I think I have my legs stuck in the chest, I think, right? Nope, I failed. Beat all them, and you get... Yeah, you get a heart piece. So this is um another thing of life. We have the uh, what ten I think now, three six. Oh, we have nine. Never mind. I was wrong. So five more, <laughs> a lot more, and then we get a new one. Now we are going to be putting some of that money that we've been earning to use uh, very shortly. But first, we need to go somewhere special. So we're going to go ahead and warp to. We want to warp to. Let's see. We warp to West Hyrule Field over here, or Castle Town, west of the Castle Town, because we have some stuff to get. Now, with warping and turning to wolf, this leads to some interesting things that can occur. Um, you will, uh, you will see what they are very shortly. Oh, actually, oh wait, 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 no, no, I didn't want to go here. I messed up. Never mind. I don't want to go here just yet. I want to go. No. Nah. All right. <laughs> I hit the D-pad thinking it would. Uh, it would actually take me to uh, the next area. No, we want to go to uh, Kakariko Village next, actually. I'll show you what I mean with the Wolf and Transformation. We do something interesting here, I guess. You'll see very shortly uh, if I can actually get there. Now, when you're a wolf, people get freaked out. The thing is, though, is that you cannot turn into a wolf or into a human and, and warp or do anything when there are people around. Let's uh, go over here. Watch this. Whoa! It's a monster! Everybody run! Oh, wait. Well, that's, uh, yeah. That, that's a thing. Transform to a human. Well, no one's there here, so they can't see it, but if you try to transform to a wolf or a human, Menace says, no, you can't do that. In one part of the... In one part of the game, this leads to a very nasty glitch that can ruin your game. Uh, I will show you what it is. Because I'm cool like that. 
Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to uh, ignore that guy for a moment. I want to go back outside because uh, hopefully people are back outside now that the wolf has disappeared into... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's uh, talk to this guy over here. Yeah, baby! Oh. Yay! <laughs> wow, okay. I don't even know. You're weird. <laughs> Long, long ago, I predicted that I would come, my brother, or you would come. But tell me, did you not see my young one in trouble in Castle Town? It's been stuck standing there, for he cannot get any hot spring water. Alas, the East Castle Town Bridge remains broken. Perhaps his fortunes will turn, for it looks like the Malamart is raising money to repair the bridge. This is a fine thing, my brother. Perhaps he might consider a contribution to their fundraising to uh, help me and mine. All right, so. This is why we're going to be putting our money to use for the next little bit, actually. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Now, talk to this guy over here. Welcome to Malamart. <laughs> These guys are all hilarious. Oh, God. <laughs> the looks, though. I heard you were a reliable source that shops in Hyrule Castle Town are gouging prices, crushing folks under the thumb of commerce. Well, fear not, brother. For a brawl of Malamart has proposed a town people relief plan as an answer to the Lamentations of the common man. Phase one, prepare the castle, uh, broken ca bridge leading from East Castle Town to the field in order to improve traffic. Phase two, buy that Castle Town shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. You have heard me right, brother. There is a problem, however, and finances for execution in the Flores plan are lacking. Please, brother, offer some financial support to in the purchase of Hyrule Castle Town shop for the benefit of the people. All right, so. They need 1,000 rupees. So, we're going to give them everything that we have. Everything. We only have uh, 400 left to raise before we reach our goal for Richard here, but uh, fun to, thank you for the support, but uh, all right, cool. So, we are done here for now, but we have more to do. So, I will show you why we cannot warp into, why we cannot warp or turn into a wolf at our current time, because... Hey, dude, how you doing, brother? Let's transform. Let's warp. If you transform here, it would scare someone. You don't want to do that, do you? Like I said, this leads to a very, 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 very nasty glitch later on. So let's go where someone can't really see us. And let's go ahead and warp. And we're going to warp back to here. This is where I wanted to go originally. You can see we have a golden wolf down there. We're going to get that um, actually in this episode, too. We're going to get a lot done today. Um, because, yeah, we have a lot to do, so, yeah. Anyway, first, um, I'm going to, uh, we're gonna go over here for a second. Um, I'm just gonna, like, run to where we need to be here because, well, yeah, it's quicker that way and calling opponents and stuff, so let's make our way over this way. We are going to be getting another golden bug here as well. Now, if you turn into a wolf, like, right in front of these guys, it doesn't really matter because, um, it's not a huge issue, because monsters don't care. But, uh, yeah, there are Helmosaurs here, which is kind of weird, but let's make our way up here. Because, if you come up here and you walk slowly toward these, um, toward these guys right here, you could get this guy earlier with the boomerang, but you had to be kind of crafty and have a right timing, so I figured I'd just get this guy now. So, anyway, we now have a set for butterflies. We need to collect, um... Oh, I forget how many we need. I think we need... I'll look at our bugs in a second. Actually, I want to turn into a wolf into here real fast. Um, we, uh, I will actually, uh, I can forget them right now. Let's see, how many do we have? Let's see, I think we need three? Yeah, we're missing three bugs already. And we're, like, maybe barely halfway through the game. Not even half. Yeah, we've gotten quite a bit of stuff. But let's go into Castle Town now. Hey, hey Mr. Link, wait! How do you know it's us? And how does he not care that we just... I don't know. Whatever. You're a strange one, sir. Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. A letter from Telma. Really? She wanted to meet me for a midnight rendezvous. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, my business here is concluded. All marked to mail. Let's go. Get out of here. Scram, skadoodle. Alright, so. Uh, let's go ahead and read that letter. Because it is actually somewhat important. So they came quickly. I think there's some folks I want you to meet, so come to my bar right away. These guys will be powerful allies for you. Hear me, come by. I'll be waiting at the Castle Town Bar, Telma. All right, we're going to ignore that letter completely because, like I said, we have stuff to do here today. So, yeah, we are not going to be going there at all, period. 
we will be doing even better things, getting stuff done, um, collecting more money. That's why uh, I decided to come out over here to Castle Town is to make some more money. Uh, let's see, I don't have any money with me right now, but if you go, um, we're going to be going to that tent today also. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of stuff, all about side quests today, pretty much. Get a nasty sword, side quests, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just want to get it done ASAP. So, let's go ahead and we're going to talk to little Agatha over here again. Um, can you let me in, please? And uh, I haven't shown this off in a while. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, so, hey, you, Agatha, how you doing, girlfriend? Uh, we, uh, we have a bug for you. So, yes, we did. All right, so we are going to give her the butterfly that we are missing. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, oh boy, who's your friend? You look cute, aren't you? Little butter, little butterfly. I want you to. I want to be wrapped up in that powder too. Thank you so much. Ooh, we have a pair. All right, so yeah, we get a big rupee. Um, I do want to show off something else that you can do. Eight bugs. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna show you what she says if you don't give her all the bugs in your inventory. But then I'm gonna cut to me giving her all the bugs because this will take some time. So watch this. Let's see. Or not, never mind. Be right back. Alright, so we've uh, gone ahead and gotten, you know, given her all the bugs, and we are now left with a good healthy sum of 450 rupees, which is over enough that we need to uh, do uh, some more bridge stuff. Yeah, we can now actually repair the bridge in, um, you know, the south town. But before we do that, I'm going to hold on to a little bit of the money because, well, we have something in here that we can do as well. So, let's uh, talk to the circus guy over here. Or, I guess he's circus. I don't know what he does. Hello! <laughs> Ooh, freaky. We've been in here before, just you didn't recognize us, I don't think. Eh. I don't know how you sneeze when we're even human. Whatever. <laughs> you gimp? Even a gimp suit? Oh, okay, never mind. Greetings and salutations, good sir. Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams. In this place, you can taste the life of a circus star and get your hands on gear that boggles minds. It is our earnest hope that you find delight playing the star game. The rules are exceedingly simple. So all you must do is endeavor to do... All you must endeavor to do is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them all before time runs out. <laughs> Rather upsetting name, I must say. Step right up. Shyness, be gone! It's only 10 rupees. Who's up to the challenge? I'll do it. Now, make sure you have your grappling hook um, equipped, because you need the grappling hook to do this regardless. So, if you don't have it, you're not doing it. Uh, so, let's uh, go ahead and do this. And we need to do it really fast as well, because, yeah, this game, you want to collect as many of these things as you can. You need to collect them all uh, as fast as you can, actually. Um, there is a certain set pattern that you can do. That makes it easier to get them all, and I am failing at it miserably. Let's see, can we do this? And, yeah, we got a few. Cool, okay. Let's see, let's uh, try to get some over here as well. Then we're going to shoot off across this way. Can I get them all? Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Impossible. Uh, oh, what a happy day this is. The debut of a new star. Showers of applause all around to the star I shall give this. And we get a big quiver. 60 arrows. Very well, the next stage will be one created just for you, good sir. I would expire should you, or I would expire should you decline. Please, you must try it when it is ready. I'm not sure I remember this. Now, he will have another challenge set for you, and it will be harder. And, uh, yeah, not, uh, not as fun. Um, and let's see, let's like, can we talk to the girls? The girls are, there are girls, like, out there cheering for you. Um, you need another, you need a special item to complete the next, uh, the next part of the game, so we're not gonna bother with that. Anyway, yee, it's him! So let's, uh, talk to the girls here. Hi, ladies! It's him! They're <laughs> all red. Ooh! I think you gave us your heart, didn't you? Yeah? Well, then they run off. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we get a big quiver for our trouble. That's awesome. Uh, now, we need to, next, hi, puppy. They're following us. That's cute. Um, now, next off, we need to go... Um, to, uh, we're gonna go to the south gate, uh, because, well, we can, uh, we can get something cool there. Yeah, and hi, bud, how you doing? My father cannot get any hot spring water to sell, so lady just sits outside the eastern gate. 
I talk to him and only does a sigh. Please do something. If you need help, you should talk to the village elder. I would go, but my legs will not take me there. Oh, sorry, bud. Well, uh, let's, um, let's, we'll try to help him in a little bit. First, though, we want to, uh, we want to come out here for something pretty special, I'll say. Um, because, if you remember, there is something for us to do, actually. Now, Agatha can be found out here if you want to, uh, uh, look out for her. Um, but, you know, we don't really need to do that. We will be ignoring her for the time being. So, let's, uh, go over here, because over here is an old friend of ours. Yeah. Let's, uh, talk to this guy. So, doing okay? You been keeping up with the practice? Or have we? I don't know. Let's see. What do we learn today? Oh, it freaks me out. <laughs> we meet again. Next is the greatest of hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. You still wish to master it? I do. Very well. For you again, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the backslice. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Let's do it. And voila. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of handling my art. Very well, my fourth hidden skill is the Helm Splitter. Let it be hewn into your mind. Hmm. Lovely. So, how does this work? Boss will circle around and perform backslice against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch and then quickly press A. You will leap into the air over the enemy's head and greet them with uh, your blade by immediately striking from behind. Spooky. This is the helm splitter. Show it to me. Fine, let's do it. Let's go. Now, do that. Oh, and, and it works. Hey, there we go. Cool. <laughs> That's not how it should look entirely, but it looks like I did like a jump attack, but oh well. Impressive. Do not miss your chance to land the helm splitter with A before you shield uh, your shield attack. It's been passed on helm splitter. Nice. There you go. So, there are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time you come to learn the next skill. May we weed again. Alright. So, I think the last thing on our to-do list, on the agenda, this is going to be a long video, um, is we're going to travel back to Kakariko Village and pay them some more money. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and pay them some more money, shall we? Oh, our hard-earned rupees are well, they're actually going to a pretty good cause. This is um, this is somewhat important, I will say. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and do that then, shall we? I don't know why they couldn't get like funds from other people, but I guess people are just unwilling to part with their cash, even though it's high roll and they're yeah they're good. So uh, let's um. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this. In the next episode, I'm gonna meet you guys. I'll tell you where I'm gonna meet you, I guess, after we do this. We are 400 rupees short, okay. We must bring cause, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's do it. So we're gonna give them 400 rupees. Glorious day for collecting the funds or finance repairs to the bridge and it's in the east the castle. A brother! I forget how I was talking. Those corrupt price gouging shops in Castle Town are officially on notice. Soon they will woo. I love the baby. We hope that you continue your financial support of our efforts to sell products in the town at discounted prices, brother. All right. So that is it for this episode. Do not speak to him again until um, until you speak to someone special. I'm gonna meet you guys in the next episode at the East Gate of Hyrule for a particular reason. Uh, and then we'll we'll do some other stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.